Hey, good morning, everybody. It is time for Wasatch 360, and we are getting blazed. That's right. We are at the Energy Solutions Arena for some arena football. Go Blaze! That's right, and it's so cool here because the action is right in front of you here and see every hit. It's amazing. That's right. There is not a bad seat in the house, so sit back and relax. This is Wasatch 360. little product you got out there yeah we got something going good this year you know we're off to a uh, franchise best five and two record right now got a lot of great things going getting good crowds in here and having a lot of fun yeah speaking of fun it's really entertainment it is that's what we say it's like 50 percent about the football on the field but it's 50 percent about the entertainment around the game itself and our goal is to not have any kind of dead air whatsoever and we really want you to go away from this thing kind of feeling like you're uh, sensory overload and you're kind of exhausted when you go home at night so you look like a big Blaze fan. Ever since the beginning. Ever since the beginning. How many years has that been? That's been seven years. Oh, that's a really long time. Okay, who is your favorite athlete on this team? Right now, it is Lasue and Lewis. How come? Lasue, because he's just vicious on uh, being a wide receiver. And Lewis, because he hits and sacks hard. That's why we call him Sack City. Now, from your standpoint, the general manager and probably the head coach as well, is it kind of bittersweet because you know these guys are trying to go up a notch? Yeah, well, that's part of our lure. We try to get guys in here knowing that we're trying to help them get to the next level. We want to help these guys get to the NFL because in the long run, that helps us out. Is If we can show them that, hey, we've helped the other guys get to the NFL, then that's a great lure for guys to come here and want to play for us. Yet, on the other hand, you have to probably call them in on that bittersweet level and tell them, hey, by the way, the Rams called. and. You're yeah. going on up. But that's always a good call to make. You, uh, when you get a guy a chance, an opportunity to uh, better his life and better his uh, financial standing and get that opportunity to get to the top level, we're always glad to make that call. Seems like a great place to the family. Is your whole family here? Yes, they are. This uh, is my whole family right here, Ro. My daughters, I have no boys. I have two girls. And they love it. They love it. They know everything about it. My oldest loves this way. Yeah, I mean, when you come here from a fan's perspective, it must just be so much fun. Yeah, it's, and it's different from the outdoor game that a lot of people are used to. You have a lot of things that, uh, again, you get that dead air in the outdoor game, whereas we try to keep it moving all the time. And like I said, if we can keep it going and keep people interested, then we're having fun. All right, do you like this better than stadium football? Oh, heck yeah. How come? Uh, fast pace. Uh, they intermit with the fans. They, after, like, after every game, we go down and meet them, autograph. They're still cool. Even though when they're banged up or hurt, they still come out and talk to us like we're one of them. Give me a couple players that you really like think are the hottest players around. Robinson. I like Robinson. Yeah? Um, I don't really have any more really. Just um, Robinson. He's a, um, he's a great um, running back. What's it like playing on this smaller field in arena football? It's fun. It's a high pass game. It's really fast and a lot of scoring going on. Is it a lot more intense? It's, uh, it's really intentional. You know, fans get into it, they uh, get catch balls, and they're right in the action. That's right, and you have some really fanatic fans here, don't you? Yeah, they're, they're all dressed up and stuff. They're being real crazy for a night, so we're excited about it. Caleb, favorite team on the planet is? Utah Blaze. How come? Rock. Why? Well, why do they rock? Why do they rock? Tell me a couple of reasons. Five and two. Five and two, yeah. And what about, like, you know, are, who are they going to win tonight? Tell me what the game plan is tonight. Touchdown. All right, how fun is this? This is really fun. I love it here. It's Great. Really do you come to all the games? I've missed a few, but, <laughs> you know, I love the games, though. It's all fun. right, you look like a football player. You think you have a future out here? Yes, I do. <laughs> It is time for the 12 Wonders of Park City, a series we're bringing to you all summer long here, courtesy of Montage Deer Valley, this spectacular resort. And we're covering things from music to the arts to bounty, which is all that good food that Park City offers. And one of the things, the one of the wonders here in Park City is the waters. Now we have all these great mountains, right, Joe Mitchell? That's correct. That's right. And uh, Joe is from Stony Brook, fly fishing correct and uh, that gives you a hint we're talking fly fishing 
nothing like getting in the river, casting it out, catching that bounty for the evening meal. That is absolutely right. And so here at Montage, what they do is they don't want you to go unprepared. For me, I've never been fly fishing, so I'm not gonna go out and wade waist deep into a river and try to figure it out, am I? There's a pretty steep learning curve when you try to do it that way on your own, but that's what we're here for. At Stony Brook Fly Fishing, we'll take care of all your needs. Uh, if you're a rank amateur, whether you've done this before or not, doesn't matter. We uh, will take care of you from beginning to end. Uh, all you need to show up with are sunglasses and shoes and socks. <laughs> well, that's perfect because <laughs> that's basically what I brought. Perfect. Um, so when you stay here at the Montage, you have the affordability of getting that learning curve under your belt before you get out there. That's so, correct. So tell us kind of what you go through here. We first of all uh, size you up for waders and boots, all top quality gear to keep you dry uh -huh. while we're uh, wading in the river. Uh, then we take through, you through the basics of fly casting, some of the rigging that we'll do uh, depending on the conditions. Uh, and then after some fly casting lessons on the lawn, we take you out to the river and get you fishing. So now, is there a size in the party that it needs to maintain or can you handle small to big? We can do uh, all of that, small from one person, uh, which is a great way to really learn a lot about fly fishing. Uh, we can take up to 10 people fly fishing as well, which is a really fun way to spend time with a business group or just with an extended family group. Obviously, men, women, children as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, men, women, children. Children do great at fly fishing. There are some smaller streams in the area mm -hmm. uh, that we can take the little ones uh, where the wading is not too deep. Um, great little classroom streams to, to get them introduced to fly fishing. Okay, and then if you had to give the fly fishing tip of the day, what would you suggest to somebody? Uh, keep the line tight when you're fighting that fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And, and the fish we catch in, in the rivers here are typically what? They're trout, they're mm -hmm. mostly wild trout, and they can be brown trout, rainbow trout, or cutthroats. Mostly we have browns. Um, and they range anywhere from about 10 inches up to 24 inches in length. Okay, and so then if all else fails, you come up empty, you get to come right back here to the montage, sit by the pool, and, and you can make up fish tails all day long. That's correct, it's a win-win, always. Because we <laughs> caught one this big, didn't we? That's right. That's right. Okay, hey Joe, thanks so much. You're back. Fly fishing, one of the 12 wonders of Park City, courtesy of Montage Deer Valley. It's time for another property of the week. I am with the talented Shane Herbert of Sotheby's Real Estate. And Shane, we are in one of my favorite de developments in Park City, Park Meadows. Yeah, this is um, the access to Park Meadows is simple. I mean, you're five minutes away from Deer Valley, Park City, Mountain Resort, Old Town, the canyons, um, pretty much anything you need. It really is the heart of Park City here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see it. Let's check yeah, it out. Yeah, let's go in. Wow, what a great room. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, right? Um, yeah, it's what most families want. You have the living room, dining room, breakfast bar, kitchen, kind of all in one that spill out onto this great deck that the expansive views of Canyon, Ski Resort, Park City, and Deer Valley, I mean, you can see all of it right here. You got the trifecta. Yeah, absolutely. Not to mention the golf course. Yes, Park Meadows Golf Course, just right down the street. And the Country I've... Club's pretty easy. Yeah, and so it opens up into this beautiful kitchen, nice and big. Yes. Lots of countertop. So Shane, I have to tell you though, I mean, there isn't a refrigerator in here or a washing machine. Yeah, a dishwasher hidden here. Oh, it's hidden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Makes it easy, so it just all kind of blends in together and exactly. refrigerators you right here, no sub-zero. And that really adds to the whole open feel. Absolutely, then you, you have a little hidden area back here, you can put your coffee and your supplies so they're not sitting out on the counter and being cumbersome. This is where I'm gonna hide all my chocolate. I know, right? right. <laughs> all um, right, and these countertops. Yeah, nice granite countertops um, just installed. Um, Thermador oven with a huge griddle and a four burner gas. Um, not bad, right? Gourmet kitchen. Yeah. Here we are in the master bedroom. Yes. Gorgeous. Yeah, and like I said, it's move in ready. So this, you're gonna have to let your imagination go wild big king bed, uh, maybe a little futon, a little saute setting that would 
you know, be right in front of this gorgeous fireplace or to take advantage of the view. Yeah, the views are amazing. You have vaulted ceilings and it's very cozy right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Laying in bed, fire crackling, and gorgeous view. Okay, we well, gotta check out my favorite part of the house, bathtub. Yeah, master bathroom in this house is amazing. Like I said, favorite room of the house. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Bathtub, soaking, jetted, views, and you have this really cool thing. Let me show this to you. Turn this on. A so waterfall. A waterfall. Into the bathtub. Into the bathtub. And, and then you, you follow the little yeah. red brick road all the way. Yeah, so it simulates the river flowing out of the bathtub into the shower. Talk about cool. flow of a room. Absolutely, right? Um, showers, got a great big seat in here. Double shower heads, heated towel bar. Oh. I mean, very, very nice. Big rain head shower in the middle. The utmost luxury in here. Yeah, absolutely. And then if you want a warm towel, washer and dryer are in the master closet. Now downstairs, this is where the party's at. I mean. Yeah, got a full bar, under counter refrigerator, dishwasher, ice maker, bar you can with. You live down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this would be, is where I would be. Copper countertop, which is pretty cool. And a, Very unique. Yeah. Um, barn wood flooring on the wall to kind of go with the motif, you know, a little bit. Country Western down here. Um, family seating area with big TV, surround sound, pool table, game table, open up into the backyard. Yeah, and the stone masonry, it just totally adds to this country chic. Yeah, I mean, can't you just see like your family down here just kind of playing and having a great time? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's check out that backyard. Kay. There are beautiful trees, gorgeous views. Fully fenced, um, yeah, views to die for. So not only is it a gorgeous house. It has a gorgeous deck. Yeah, um, I can just imagine myself barbecuing, drinks, cocktail hour, friends, enjoying, you know, I mean, you can see all of Park Meadows Golf Course, the base of Park City Mountain Resort, the Canyon Ski Resort, Deer Valley. I mean, I don't really know if it gets much better than this on a view standpoint. It doesn't. This yeah. is what people pay for, a view like that. Absolutely. It's impressive. You walk in the door, that's what you see. You wake up in the morning out of your bedroom, out of any of the bedrooms, and this is what you see. Like, it's pretty astonishing. Well, Shane, I've had so much fun looking at this property with you today. Why don't you wrap it up for me? Yeah, 5,600 square feet, uh, five bedrooms, four bath, best views in Park City, in my opinion, great location, heated driveway, elevator, gourmet kitchen. I mean, I think you pretty much have it all. All right, if you're interested in any property in Park City or this property, contact Shane at the information below. And thanks again for joining us on Property of the Week. Did I hear you say that golf in Park City isn't affordable? Well, think again. The Jeremy Golf and Country Club has a special offer just for you. With its breathtaking mountain and river scenery, the Jeremy is the perfect place to relax, socialize with friends, and of course, test your metal with an unmatched round of golf. And the weather's perfect all summer long. The club is graced by a majestic clubhouse that offers members and their guests the opportunity to dine in elegance as well as gather for special events and corporate outings. And since it's located just 20 minutes from the mouth of the Salt Lake Valley, the Jeremy is not just for Park City residents. With a beautifully manicured practice facility and a top-notch PGA teaching staff, your game is sure to improve. During the winter months, a state-of-the-art golf simulator will keep your swing tuned to perfection. In addition, the Pro Shop offers the latest in technology and apparel, so you'll be up to date and looking sharp when you step to the first tee. So beat the heat this summer and join the Jeremy Golf and Country Club. You'll be glad you did. What can you save on Suse today? Family night. Man's best friend. A cup of joe. For the one you love. Mobile connection. Looking good. The handyman. Finding your way. And that is just the beginning. Shop and save for everyday and unique items or become a member and save even more for only $9 per month. Suse.com. You'll say Suse and save. Hey, we're back here at Hyatt Escala Lodge in Park City at the base of Canyons. It's just a fantastic spot, and we're here with Kim Okuson. Welcome back, Larry. Thank you very much. And for those of you that are thinking of maybe owning a beautiful place here at Hyatt Escala, there's some great incentive programs, but before we do that, let's tell everybody first about Hyatt Escala. 
It's such a beautiful property and we're so happy to have you guys back. Um, you know, the owners that are here have such an opportunity to not only get into the incentives that you were talking about, but also just be involved in what a beautiful property the Hyatt Escala Lodge is with the amenities in their uh, suites and in their rooms from travertine tile floors, soaker tubs in the bathrooms, uh -huh. stackable washers and dryers, all of those sorts of things. But then the on-property things like our beautiful restaurant, the Escala Provisions Company, the market, the fireside where they can do s'mores in the evening, the pools, the hot tubs. Wow, it sounds great. It's amazing. And then what people don't realize is that being at the base of the canyon, you have your own ski lift, skier services, winter, summer is pretty good too. Summer and spring are amazing. Besides the ski and ski out services and the ski valley on property, we've got amazing trails right out the back of our property at the um, beautiful canyons mountains. They've got zip lining they're able to do on property. You've got the village here at the canyons where you can do some shopping, dining, all sorts of activities. Yeah, they don't, uh, people, if you're not familiar with the canyons and, and haven't been here in a while, it's really built up, a lot of things going. It's hopping with concerts, everything during the summer. Concerts, village activities for the kids. They've got uh, people coming in to create bal balloon animals for the kids, all sorts of activities, whether it be volleyball, winter or summer, all sorts of fun things for families. And then you, you spoke of the restaurant, it's brand new and it's hot. Oh my gosh, it is hopping. Chef Amanda has created quite a few amazing signature dishes here at Escala Provisions Company, one being her famous buffalo chili, mm. the other one being the s'mores pie, which is in this amazing mason, mason jar. Quite delicious. All right, so uh, again, the residences, they're spectacular. They're like a home you could cook for 20. The kitchen's off the charts. They're amazing. Gourmet kitchens, fully stocked with all appliances, dishware, flatware, glassware. We can have our food and beverage team actually stock the Sub-Zero refrigerators for you so that prior to your arrival, you've got all the ingredients of whatever you need to make your homemade meal. So for those who might be thinking of buying into Hyatt Escala Lodge, you guys have a couple of great programs. We do, Larry. In fact, as an owner at the Escala Lodge, you're automatically enrolled into Hyatt's Gold Passport program as an Elite Diamond Tier Status member for a period of two years. A few of the benefits afforded to you as a Diamond Elite member are 30% bonus points on each visit, insured a room is always available with Hyatt's 48-hour guarantee, we'll extend your stay to 4 p.m. with a late checkout, you'll also receive exclusive access to the Regency Club or Grand Club, depending on which locations provide that, and then you'll also receive a special welcome bonus point or food and beverage amenity during each stay. So the RMA points program is if you do own here, you actually have access across the globe. You do. Um, as an owner, uh, what we call the Hyatt Rental Management Program, um, they'll have the opportunity to enter into a voluntary membership agreement with what is known as the Hyatt Residence Club. Mm -hmm. And as a member, you'll have the ability to convert any weekly increments from your home here at Hyatt Escala Lodge into other Hyatt Residence Club resorts or into points within the Hyatt Gold Passport program that can be used towards stays at any of Hyatt's hotels or resorts across North America or worldwide. So really, it's win-win for everybody. Absolutely, everything that Hyatt Escala Lodge has to offer right here in the Greater Park City area, as well as with Hyatt Worldwide, it's truly an amazing program for all of our owners. Hey Kim, thanks so much. If you wanna win-win, it's simple, Hyatt Escala Lodge. As we said, we are in Park City on Main Street all summer long showing you the coolest places to shop and eat. And we are at one of my favorite stores ever, Olive and Tweed Boutique. And I'm here with Summer, the owner. And Summer, show me around your store. This place is so cool. You have absolutely everything. We do. We have so much. So let me show you. Great. So we carry a ton of different brands, um, great, great brands that a lot of people that live in Salt Lake and um, throughout Utah don't know about. That Park City is carrying a ton of cool stuff. There's great boutiques up here. Everybody, every boutique on the street has their niche. And so we carry Tool, which is a very, very popular brand. They do super cute dresses, great coats, just really cute stuff. Unique patterns, I see. Yeah, really cute. Um, there's another, this is wooden ships, and this is all hand knit. 
and it's just beautiful. Cotton, they do wool. We have their wool stuff in the winter and their cotton is comfy and cozy, super soft. Totally unique, something that you won't find anywhere else, probably just at Olive and Tweed. Yep. Now, you also have an amazing selection of scarves. Look at this gorgeous display. Yeah, so these scarves, we do a ton of scarves. Scarves are one of my very favorite things in the whole world. We have a million in the store, ton, a huge selection. These scarves specifically are two for 40. They're only 20 bucks each if you buy two. So you can pick any two that you want, keep one for yourself, give one to a friend, keep both for, for yourself, whatever, they're great. <laughs> I'm keeping both for myself, <laughs> but you're right, this would be a great gift. And also the nice thing about a scarf is you could just pair it with a simple tee and you look glamorous. Exactly, yeah, basic white tee or any color, pop on a scarf, you're good to go. Okay, and I gotta talk about the new thing that's in style this season is the colorful jeans. Yes, yes, do you have some? I don't, no. let's get some right now. <laughs> yeah, now's the time, now's the time. So this is my favorite color, this teal denim is so cute. It's a skinny, and this brand, Level 99, is so soft. They wash really well, they're comfortable. And this would stretch, and which is stretch. important yeah, yeah. for me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, and I did see some gorgeous turquoise Jewelry over yeah. in your jewelry section. Mm -hmm. How fun would that yeah. be? Yeah, like you were saying, a little white tee, something or something flowy like what you're wearing. Some turquoise jewelry. Great. Thank you. Speaking of what I'm wearing, this who is, is this? <laughs> this is from Olive and Tweed, and it's so cute on you. I love it. It's great yeah. for the summer, and I got my hat. Little, yep, little hat. You have a great selection of baby goods. We do. Great gifts. Great, great gifts. Grandmas come in, and moms, and you know, people looking for gifts for baby showers, and we just have the best selection. Um, this is one of my favorite items. This is a hat, oh. handmade in Portland from recycled fabric. All right, you also have an amazing selection of shoes. We do. So our focus on shoes is as cute, and this is kind of our focus for the whole store, as cute as possible, as affordable as possible. So we do a big mix of cute and affordable, accessible. Um, like these shoes are only 52. These shoes are 56. It's a killer deal for a wedge. Um, and wedges are so yeah. in style this season. Look at these. These are so cute. <gasps> They're these adorable. Again, it would yeah, go with your colorful, so cute. colorful jeans and your colorful so shirt. So cute. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about my favorite section of the store, the sales section. Okay. Good choice. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? We have all of our winter stuff on yep, sale. Yep, we have a lot of our winter stuff, so now's a great time to get a coat at half off. Everything in the section is half off. We have some home decor that's half off, really cute. Like, this would be a great outdoor pillow for summertime. Absolutely, all of those outdoor concerts that mm -hmm. we have coming oh, up yeah. in the Wasatch yeah. Front. All right, if you're looking for something special and unique, for your style, come to Olive and Tweed on Main Street. Hey, we're here with the Wasatch 360 Golf Tip of the Week. It's gonna be happening every week throughout the summer to get your game in gear. We're here with Jake Hanley from the Jeremy Golf and Country Club. How are you, man? Hey, Larry, great, how are you today? We're doing good, okay. Drive for show, putt, for dough, and it, boy, does that ever ring true because the putts in the short game, it really, everybody likes to bomb it, but this is really what counts. Oh, you're exactly right, Larry. You know, I think everybody loves to hit the driver, hit it long. Uh, when it comes down to it, almost half of your strokes could be on That's the right. green. That's right. Okay, so what would be the first thing that you would do? Is, is it setup? Is it alignment? Is it gauging speed or all of them? It's a great question, Larry. It's a great question. And it is going to be a little bit of everything. Where we're going to start, though, is going to be in our setup. Okay. And, and I like to set up. Um, let's come on over yeah. here. I've got a couple go balls set, get, for us. Get me good. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll start with our stance. Okay. So I'm going to set up to one, and you can set up to that ball there, Larry. Okay. All right. So we're going to have our feet about shoulder width apart. Okay. So I'm right about that. That's spot on. Okay. And I like to have the ball just slightly forward from the middle of our stance. Okay. So and just... the reason for that, yeah, that looks great there. Okay. Reason okay. for that is in our, our putting stroke, the bottom of the swing arc is in the middle of our feet here. And we want to hit this ball on the upswing. We okay. want to give it top spin. Right. We want it rolling. Exactly okay. right. We want that true spin right from the get go. Okay. So we're... Next thing I want to de definitely touch on is our grip. Okay, go. So we've got the ball in the right spot. And there's a hundred grips nowadays. There's a hundred grips. You see the claw grip, the left hand low grip, the ten finger grip. Uh -huh. The grip we're going to use today uh -huh. 
And, and actually, Larry, let me ask you, is there a grip that you prefer? Well, I go back and forth from conventional, and then I do a little bit of a claw sometimes when things go south. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go conventional. We're going to go conventional. All right, shoulder width, a little forward. That looks great, and I okay. like how we want to get that grip into the palms of your hands to, okay. so the fingers are nice and quiet. We how got, about this finger here? You know, and, and Larry, that's a great question. I like having this index finger wrapped around the grip. Okay. Both thumbs down the middle. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And now grip pressure. Grip pressure on a scale of one to ten. Right. If ten's the death grip, I'd say I'm in a six, seven. You know, I'd like to even soften it up a little. Okay. About four or five so to where those four. It's a touch feel shot. It's so a, delicate. It's a feel shot. All right. I like how the eyes are over the ball. That okay. looks great. Should we give it a shot? Let's give it a roll. All right. Nice and back. And a little push. Good stroke. You know, one thing I noticed there, Larry, is is your head actually followed that ball right off of impact. Okay. And it opened up the face a little okay, bit. Okay, so what you're saying is keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball, Larry, exactly. We're gonna keep well, our head down. Well, and I'd rather have you listen to this ball go into the cup. Okay, so don't move, watch it, don't watch it go in. Look at that true roll. Get in there. Hey, it's a tap in. Nice that was stroke. All right, what about around the hole? You know, you got to tap in the three footers, the knee knockers. Yep, and that takes us to our, our drill that we wanted okay. to talk about today. And, okay. And that's going to be working around the hole. And I like to call this drill around the hole. So this is, I've seen Mickelson, <laughs> so, I've seen Mickelson do this. Exactly right. You see a lot of the tour players working after their round out on the golf course on the putting so green. So you're saying just go around the hole. Beauty. And then come up to here. Same grip, same stance, same ball position. Boom. And we're going to work around the hole. Look great. That's fantastic. Jake Hanley from Jeremy Golf and Country Club. We're going to be out here every week throughout the summer improving your game. We hope you enjoyed the Wasatch 360 Tip of the Week. Hey, we hope you enjoyed today's show from Energy Solution Arena and the Utah Blaze. That's right. It is so much fun here. The action is so intense. You've got to check it out. That's right. A couple more months in the season, so come on down. Grab the action. You'll have a blast. Do not turn the channel. Good day, Utah. Weekend edition coming right behind us. Go Blaze! Yeah! Yeah!